Hello everybody and welcome to the greenhouse. I'm Danny, and if you're new, I am happy you're here. You've been here before, I'm happy you're back. Today I'm going to be cutting some spikes off of my Phalaenopsis orchids that aren't thriving, that aren't doing too well. So I thought it'd be a great chance to video this and let you guys follow along and see why I'm deciding to cut their spikes. I picked this one up from Trader Joe's last week just because I really liked the pattern and the color. And this is the first time I've had a little bit of difficulty with the Trader Joe's fowl. I paid $12 for it and I brought it home and I did repot it and it's not blasting any of the spikes or any of the buds or blooms, sorry. But as we come down here, it overnight, I just really started struggling. It has a really nice root system on it. So it's not because it can't take in any water and dehydrated. I'm thinking either it got too cold going from Trader Joe's and walking to the garage parking lot that's maybe a half a block in zero degree weather. It just is, I'm thinking it's cold damage for sure. They're very mushy, mushy, mushy leaves and very limp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut both of these spikes, even though I know that they're still blooming and beautiful. I'm gonna cut both of those spikes because it's taking so much energy from this phalaenopsis that I don't want it to take and I want it to survive. I'm gonna cut the spikes and let it focus on healing from all of this cold damage. Okay, so I did just cut both of her spikes. I didn't even think to film that for you guys. I, I apologize. I'm hoping though, with those spikes gone, she can just focus on surviving this cold damage and putting on some new leaves. And let me show you the next one that I have that I want to cut the spikes from. The next one that I want to cut, not both spikes, but just one spike from is Phalaenopsis Schilleriana. And I got sent this for me for my birthday in the first week of like November. And it came with this spike right here. It was about yay tall and it has been this tall since December now, but now right here is starting to brown and turn yellow. And yesterday she lost a leaf, so she's only down to two leaves. She does have a really great root system. So what I'm gonna do is just cut this spike. This spike is still actively growing beautifully. And we all know that Phalaenopsis can do more than one task at a time. So I'm hoping she'll continue to grow this spike and maybe put out a new leaf for me. And so don't make fun of my scissors, you guys. You guys know I have lots of kids and they steal all my scissors and this is what I'm left with. I have sanitized these and I'm gonna cut this spike now. There we go. And hopefully she can focus on just blooming this one and maybe putting on new leaves. Don't be scared to cut your flower spikes if it's necessary, everybody. In the long run, it can help. I know a lot of times I like to just let Mother Nature take its course and let the fowls do what they wanna do, but sometimes it is good for them to cut those spikes and let them focus on doing other things. So happy growing. Until next time, stay safe. Bye, everybody.